Hey friends. So I'm in my still sweaty bike gear. Um, and I thought I would pause to talk to you a little bit about um, a concept and practice that's fascinated me for the last couple years since I learned it. Um, so for those of you who maybe have practiced yoga or if you've danced or anything like that, you know that there's this concept of a focal point in yoga, they call it a drishti. Um, and in the physical practice of yoga, what it is, is that you use a, a, a spot that's not moving to help you with balance, or it can be used in meditation um, as any kind of focal point to help keep you focused on the, the practice. That can be your breath. It can actually be a spot that you're looking at. It can be a lot of things. So, um, but a couple of years ago, I, I learned from my teacher also that Drishti has sort of this um, complementary concept to it, which is to see panoramically or to see bigger um, or to connect to a broader consciousness. That's probably closer to what the yoga philosophy would say about that. But so there's two ways to practice this. So in practice, it it can look like can look like actually making looking wider with your eyes. So taking in the expanse of something without letting your eyes dart to the thing that's moving. So I'm wearing my bike gear because I actually practice this frequently when I'm biking. It's hard to do when you're actually riding because you have to be looking at a number of things just for safety's sake. But I'll take a pause like if I'm on a hill or a, a there's a couple of bridges that I'm often on. If I'm on those bridges, what I do is I stop and I, I look out and try to look at the expanse of what I'm seeing. And without your eyes darting toward, oh, look, there's a cloud. Oh, look, there's a duck. Oh, look, there's a car going by or whatever the case may be. So to really let your eyes see broadly. And it actually, when you first start practicing, it sort of hurts because you know, when we're young, we can do this pretty easily. Like think of when you were young and you could just stare up at the stars, like at nothing, right? Um, you kind of lose that ability as an adult because we're always looking for wherever the next thing is. We're looking at, looking towards something we're hearing. We're looking um, towards something that kind of suddenly moved or whatever. It's a, it's a self-preservation mechanism. It's not wrong. It just is, um, it limits us in the other way. So I would invite you to practice this this week. I would invite you to practice seeing panoramically, taking a step back. You can do it in your own house, like just staring at a wall, like at the whole thing, rather than at particular things in your line of sight. Um, it works really well to maybe look out a window even and look, try to look between tree branches. Um, that's an interesting one to do. So not looking at the branch, but kind of looking at what's between and that kind of gets you at that more expansive awareness or consciousness. So um, this, I'm going to write more about this in my blog, but this was the practice I wanted to pass on in the course of that blog because I have found it fascinating. So I am, uh, I am in need of a shower because I just went for a bike ride, but I am excited to share this practice with you and to write more about it in my blog at defythetrend.com. Thanks so much, friends. Have a great day.